Hi, I'm Laurel Didier. I'm the publisher of Closets and Organized Storage, and I'm here today to tell you the 22 reasons why you should attend the 2022 Closets and Wood Pro Expo. It's a pretty long title, sorry about that. But first, before we get started, I'd like to introduce you to our team. So we'll, we'll move on. You can see all their cute pictures, but here they are live also. Um, Kim LaBelle is not part of the presentation today, but a lot of you have spoken to her. She is our logistics person, show manager. She takes care of everything behind the scenes and makes sure that um, we do what we're supposed to do and give you a great um, experience. Harry Urban, publisher, Woodworking Network, and Michelle Bradford, our editor of Closets and Organized Storage, and Will Sampson, our editorial director of Woodworking Network, will all be participating today to tell you what you need to know about the um, 2022 event. So let's uh, talk about our icebreaker reception, which um, is always a fun thing to do. If you're coming in early because um, maybe you have sales calls or you're attending the um, conferences Wednesday morning, a lot of people come in on Tuesday, please come to the Hilton Gas Lamp Hotel and meet fellow attendees um, and and us um, at the icebreaker reception at the hotel. It starts at seven o'clock and um, it's always a fun event and you know, you meet new friends and, and uh, you'll see old friends. So um, moving on, um, we'll talk a little bit about conference day and um, Michelle, do you wanna tell us a little bit about our keynote speaker? Oh, absolutely, Laurel. Our keynote speaker this year is Lori Hafela. She's the owner, owner of uh, Hafela Design. It's located in Santa Monica, California. She's an award-winning designer, and she's going to talk to us on the topic, how to turn afterthought closets into custom luxury wardrobes. So we're really excited about it. She's going to talk about how often those spaces are used to hide miscellaneous or watches and to uh, make adjacent rooms larger and more appealing. So we're pretty excited about having Lori on board. Um, yeah, and um, and we'll we'll be serving breakfast before the um, the keynote. So, and everyone's welcome to the keynote. And then we break off into our two tracks. And we have Will here today to talk about the wood pro and cabinet track. We've got a lot of great things on tap for uh, uh, the wood pro uh, conference track. Uh, we're starting the day with uh, my friend Jim Bouchard, the uh, founder of the sensei leadership uh, movement and he's going to do a hands-on leadership workshop i'll be talking a little bit more about jim bouchard uh, uh, in this presentation a little later um, but uh, we also have uh, the uh, cabinet makers association benchmark survey results with uh, amanda congor and uh, matt wayner going through those those are great numbers that can tell you how to measure your progress in your business and give you information about uh, uh, even what the uh, prevailing pay rates are for uh, uh, this industry. So it's great information that you're not going to get anywhere else. Uh, then we also have uh, in the afternoon, um, I'll be uh, giving a presentation on pricing. Uh, I think this is one of the most vexing things in this industry is pricing for custom work and we'll talk about how you can uh, uh, avoid some of those uh, problems and be on track for making a profitable and marketable product for sure and so uh, reason number four we get to the closets conference track which is moderated by michelle and she can tell you a little bit what's on on the docket for that Oh, absolutely. Uh, we have a great lineup, I think, um, this year. Uh, we're going to kick it off with Tim Coleman. You may have seen his columns in um, the magazine uh, in the front office, and he's going to give you some business advice. He's going to talk about magic numbers and the financial impacts. Uh, Tim is uh, the division manager of SCE Unlimited. Uh, in the Chicago area. And so we're really looking forward to have Tim um, talk about that in the morning. And then uh, we'll have 
Karen Rolleri. She's the founder and COO of Organizology. So she's going to talk about a topic that always gets a lot of conversation during the show. Should you charge design fees? So Karen, she will explain to you why you should charge for design fees and how to get your client to say yes. And then later on in the day, uh, we'll, we'll have uh, a great speaker, Jane Stoller. She is CEO of Organize Jane. And so her topic is going to be organize your business. Jane is going to just take you through several steps to get your business together and organize. So you organize your client's life. She's going to tell you how to organize your business. That sounds fantastic. And of course, a very popular event during the, um, the, the conference day is the networking luncheon. After a morning full of um, packed sessions, um, everybody breaks and joins for, to each other at the lunch. Um, it's a plated lunch, a hot lunch. It's very nice. And um, it's sponsored by Wood Taiwan, one of our exhibitors. Um, it's a great time to just talk to your colleagues and um, sometimes it's an exchange of, of, of knowledge, it's um, problem solving, and sometimes it's just making new friends. So it's, it's just a really um, nice hour to just take a break and uh, get back to your roots, so to speak. So right from there, we, you know, we continue with the conference program, but then this year, we have something a little different. Um, instead of having an in-person plant tour, because of COVID, a lot of people don't want, you know, 150 people going through their manufacturing plant. So we had to, you know, be a little creative and come up with some new solutions. So Harry, if you take it away from, sure. from well, here. I'm really excited about this, Laurel. Uh, next week, the Woodworking Network crew is going to travel down to San Diego. Uh, where the headquarters of Mont Blue is located. And then we're gonna go uh, across the border to Tijuana and tour their 90,000 square foot manufacturing plant. Mont Blue is one of the coolest, most exciting architectural woodworking com companies in the industry. They're um, number 142 on the FDMC 300 list. And uh, they've done architectural woodwork projects for, um, Facebook, Apple, Google, and Amazon, just to name a few. They, you know, they do a lot of work in the healthcare business and uh, hospitality. And um, we're going to shoot this video next week, and um, I'll be accompanied by Ron Mount, Mount Blue himself uh, on the entirety of our tour. And then um, the day of the conference on the 27th, Ron and his president Chris Gow will be there. Uh, on stage, we'll show you guys the video uh, that we shot, and then um, everyone can ask Ron questions and learn more and more about the company itself. So it, it's it's a very exciting. They're one of the coolest companies in our business. Yeah, they really are, and it's a big deal that he lets us come into this plant, and he's willing to take time out of his busy schedule. Um, and also, we're going to have a reception after um, the presentation, so everyone can stay and talk to Ron, talk to each other, um, have some drinks, have some food, and then break off and enjoy San Diego, because that evening is you're on your own and you can do some fun stuff. Um, Will, you want to tell us a little bit about what we can expect the first thing in the morning on um, Thursday? Well, for a, for a lot of people, uh, this may be on our list, reason number seven, but for a lot of people coming to the show, I think it's reason number one. The uh, breakfast run roundtables put on by the Cabinet Makers Association are a great opportunity to get answers to your questions. You, you put out your problems that you're having in your business, and chances are somebody else at the table has got a solution or a couple of ideas to point you to a solution. And uh, it's, it's really phenomenal to uh, be able to tap the uh, joint mental firepower that's there and uh, uh, come up with uh, solutions to your problems. So it's it's a lot more than breakfast and a lot more than just talking. It's uh, uh, a great way to start the day with solutions. 
And this, um, the breakfast is held by the CMA. Um, and so there, it is ticketed. Um, it's just a $10 fee and that just helps them offset the cost of the breakfast. So um, they really appreciate it. But right now we're, um, we're almost close to sold out for, for that event. So if you're thinking about it, please sign up as soon as possible. $10 is a cheap price to solve a problem. <laughs> your business <laughs> well it's it you know you get more than you get at mcdonald's and uh and that's about the cost of a breakfast there so so um we move right into our opening keynote thursday morning it's at nine o'clock and um we're gonna have will talk about this because he knows jim bouchard um for quite a while and they no, both... I've known Jim for a number of years and uh, uh, he is a great guy with a great story and a lot of broad experiences. Um, he has uh, uh, run uh, uh, martial arts schools and he has uh, uh, played some uh, professional football and he has had bands and done uh, music things and plays surf rock guitar so he's great for san diego but uh, he he also has founded the sensei leader movement which is based on trying to improve leadership skills in a human-centered way and uh, he's just a great guy to talk to and uh, talk about ways that you can improve your leadership skills not just of yourself but everybody in your organization um, we took Jim just recently on a tour of uh, Thomas Mosier Furniture Makers uh, here in Maine to give him a better sense of the woodworking industry and what's going on. And he found that very fascinating and, and uh, he may share some of the things that he learned from that trip in his talks here. But he'll be doing this opening keynote and then the, the day before he actually does a hands-on workshop for on leadership skills. So uh, uh, both of these are, are events to mark on your schedule that are well worth uh, uh, seeing. Awesome, thanks, Will. So uh, for some of you, this is the, you know, the, the big, yay, the expo floor opens and um, it's at 10 a.m. on Thursday. Um, please, I have a, this slide here shows you all of our sponsors. Please take time to stop by and say, you know, hello to all of them and thank you because they they really help um, promote the industry as well as um, you know providing innovative products for you all and um, and they help us you know raise the bar on our events by being sponsors. So now I'm going to turn it over to something um, we're, we're doing a little differently this year. We're doing it right on the show floor. Um, the ACSP, Association of Closets and Storage um, Professionals, will have their roundtables. So, Michelle? Yes, this is a great opportunity opportunity as you're on the show floor please go over and stop by uh, to see them they're going to be from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and they have several topics uh, that they're going to be discussing lighting recruiting and retaining employees the sales process advanced design marketing and similar to the uh, CMA this is a chance for people to sit down at a round table discuss some of the things that are going on with their business with other peers and to get some insight and to help and some help uh, for what's going on. So this is something that um, is open to everyone, not just ACSP members. So please make sure you stop by and uh, and join one of the roundtables. Fantastic, for sure. So um, we're, the next um, thing that we're doing on the show floor is our Woodworking Network Live booth. It's booth number 623. Um, it, it will be open Thursday and Friday, and there's going to be a lot going on um, during both days where, you know, Will's going to be doing a podcast, Michelle's doing a um, award-winning designer um, interview. Uh, I will be doing the 10 questions interview for closets and organized storage, um, as well as um, we have a couple vendor um uh, presentations that'll talk about digital marketing as well as um, 
purchasing equipment or sourcing equipment from Taiwan. So there's there's a lot going on in that booth. So please, you know, during your time on the show floor, please come by and check it out because there'll be some good stuff. So um, we'll turn that over now, over to, um, sorry, Michelle, and she's going to talk about the highlight of Thursday, which is our Top Shelf Design Awards reception. Yes, this is always a fun event. As you know, the Top Shelf Design Awards, it's an annual awards uh, for everyone in the closets and organized storage industry. So this is when we announce um, who the winners and honorable mentions are. So it's a great night. Um, the event will take place. The event, which is sponsored by Revachef, will take place on the um, second floor terrace of the convention center and i think you want to be there because it overlooks coronado island it's just going to be it's always a fun time you get to see some amazing designs you get to talk with some ma amazing designers so uh, make sure you attend this event because you'll see some great projects this year yeah it is a ticketed event but um it, for what you get out of it it's it's well worth it um if you're a conference attendee um your price um your your uh, conference attendance um covers the cost of these um top shelf designs and again thank you Revishel, for sponsoring um such a high profile event um harry you want to talk a little bit about uh our opening keynote for friday morning Oop. I'm sorry, I skipped over one. I'll, um, let you, I'll let you talk about that first, Laurel. Okay. If there's any exhibitors watching right now, um, we have a breakfast every year. It's Friday morning at 8 a.m. And um, we just want to hear from you. Um, if you can't make it to the breakfast, then make sure you stop by the sales office. But we always want to hear your pros and cons for our events and suggestions to make it better. So now I'm going to move it over to Harry for the opening keynote. So there's actually two keynotes on Friday, one first thing in the morning and then another one at noon. The first one is uh, Brad Cairns. Uh, we certainly call him a lean guru. He runs his own uh, cabinet door shop. Uh, he's a columnist with FDMC, and uh, I've got to say he's probably one of the most dynamic speakers in our industry. Uh, if you've ever seen Brad, he he's just a a fountain of energy and he's going to answer tough questions you know such as we're in a uh, pandemic or an endemic whatever you want to call it now um, the supply chain is just absolutely crushing uh, businesses how can you stay lean during uh, times like this and Brad has answers for that so I really encourage everyone to come and challenge Brad and he's got some great answers and, and I can guarantee he's going to keep you um, excited and uh, give you some great uh, takeaways to, to run your business. Nice. Yeah, Brad is a great speaker, so it'll be, he's always entertaining for sure. Um, this year, um, we are having something brand new for the Closets um, Expo. We did it at AWFS in Las Vegas, and it's the Great Closets Challenge. And we had so much fun with it. Um, it was it was a little disorganized because it was the first time we were doing it and it was a little complicated. So we learned from our mistakes, we restructured it, and this year it will be one competition on Thursday, one competition on Friday. On Thursday, it'll be two designers that will be competing against the clock and each other. And then on Friday, it'll be two installers. And we have simple, uh, closet and a uh, closet design and a simple um, mudroom design that the um, participants will need to assemble. And um, I want to give a big shout out to Hayfala CNC Factory and Titus Plus for um, sponsoring this challenge. And we do have a form now for people to fill out to be contestants. So I hope you'll uh, throw your hat in the ring because we got VR um, headsets for the first prize winners, and um, it's, they're pretty cool. So I wish I could I could do it because I would love one. But anyway, um, I digress. 
Um, so at, so that is that's going to be a lot of fun. That's that's um, right on the show floor. And then Harry, if you would talk about our um, uh, keynote that will be at noon in Woodworking Network Lives. So Ken Bush, he's the founder of Material Intelligence, and the story that he's going to tell everyone about uh, the sustainability of our industry is probably one of the most important stories we can tell as an industry and and talk to our um, customers about because there's no question that the wood products industry um, is uh, one of the most um, carbon um, neutral uh, or um, sustainable aspects of all industry and we, we just need to get that story out so that will literally be from the woodworking network live uh, on the floor stage and um, again We'd love to have uh, you visit Ken because he's um, he's got an important story to tell and we need to get this message out to all of our um, customers and to the industry at large. For sure. So um, another brand new feature for um, the 2022 classes and Wood Pro Expo um, event is we're going to be having two installation clinics, one at 11 a.m. and one at 1 p.m. on Friday. Um, that will be run by Eric Marshall of DEA um, Closets and Cabinets. And Eric has, um, he, his first job was with California Closets when Lee Bolter started it. So he has tremendous experience in the industry. And um, from the Great Closets Challenge, he had the number one time under 30 minutes. Um, so he, he knows how to assemble and install closets. And so he's gonna be taking it up a notch to um, working in some difficult um, areas and um, you know applying crown molding and um, and then and then in the 3.0 we'll talk about like Murphy beds and more um, unique spaces that require some special knowledge to be able to do the job right. So um, right now the installation clinic 2.0 is almost sold out and um, 3.0 has a little more availability but i urge you to sign up you know as soon as possible because it's it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun but you're going to learn a lot so um moving on from there um the hoover app yeah this is a, a great uh, tool that uh, uh you shouldn't overlook that you can download this uh app uh, install it on your phone, and uh, it just adds immeasurably to the value of attending the, the show um, and the conference. You'll be able to even use it before the conference and the show happen because you can connect directly with the uh, uh, speakers, ask them questions before their presentation so that they make sure to address your concerns in the presentation. You can connect with other attendees. Um, it's, it's you know, a schedule in your pocket so that you know what's happening and when. Uh, and there's even competitions to, uh, uh, you know, participate and, and uh, network with uh, everyone and, and get engaged in the whole event. So it's it's a great tool. It's uh, uh, a lot more than just a little scheduling app. It's it's really adds value to the whole presentation. We found a lot of people really enjoyed it for networking. It you know it stays live even after the event, so it it, it really comes in handy if there's someone that you wanted to catch up with that you missed. It's a great tool to uh, just stay engaged with everyone that you might have met at the show. For sure, and there's cash prizes for uh, the leaders. And um, anyone who's been at our events before knows that Eric Marshall thinks he can win first place every time for the Hoover app. Well, I think there may be someone out there that can, you know, maybe beat him at it. So let's let's make it a real contest, huh? So um, we, we, we will have a networking reception at the end of the day on Friday because we wanna make sure that you, know, you re-engage 
face to face with some of the new friends you made and make sure you exchange business cards and contact information if anybody even has business cards anymore. Um, but, uh, you know, hang on to those, those new people, those new acquaintances that you make because it's, um, you know, the, the wider your network is, the more sources you have to get new information and, and someone to call in a lurch when you really need something, especially with supply chain issues. So um, in, the, in the woodworking industry right now, I know that a lot of the smaller custom shops that they they just don't get out of their shop as much as they should. And and really, to me, networking is the biggest value of this entire event and all yeah. the things that we're doing and the networking reception. Yeah, it's great to have some food and drink, but it's really the face-to-face -face contact, particularly in this situation where we're coming off of uh, the the pandemic uh, and we're finally getting back face-to-face -face with people. I, I think this is just crucial. So true, so true. So, um, so Will, why don't you tell us a little bit about San Diego since you lived there at some point. In your well, life. I didn't live in San Diego, but I, I am, you know, I, I live at the opposite corner of the country right now. I live in Maine, but but uh, I'm actually a fourth generation native Californian and grew up in, in Southern California, uh, mostly in uh, Los Angeles and Orange County areas. But we went down to San Diego to visit on a lot of times. And there's it's a great city, beautiful city with uh, you know, wonderful uh, nightlife in the uh, gas lamp district, right where we're going to be located. Uh, terrific beaches. I mean, Coronado is just, uh, you can't be beat. Uh, there's shopping, restaurants, all sorts of great things. There's museums. If your uh, kids are coming with you, you can head up the coast a little bit to Coronado to Legoland, which is a great uh, thing to do. There's all sorts of things going on in San Diego all the time. So. Uh, it's worth it to to come to our event. For sure, and um, you know, I I can't I can't stress enough how important it is now. Um, you know, where business is great, but um, you know, it's it hasn't been without a lot of challenges. And investing in your business right now is the time to do it because. We don't know what's going to happen on the other side, you know. So um, if things start as they normally do, we ride this roller coaster. You want to make sure that you've got everything ready to, um, you know, to move into the next the next phase and um, and be prepared with great contacts and and um, new suppliers, old suppliers, better relationships. And, um, you know, so really this is the time to be investing in your business. And, and lastly, um, get out of the serious part of, you know, investing and, and working. Let's talk about fun, right? Um, everybody needs a little fun because I know you guys have all been working your butts off and um and putting in ridiculous hours i mean i talk i talk to some closet people you know they're they're eating dinner at 9 p.m and they're texting me at the same time you know i mean it's it's craziness so um take a little time while you're in a great city and have some fun and meet new people so that's what we have for you today um i would like to see you all like to open it up for questions. Um, you can go into the um, the question column in your um, uh, control panel. There's an area where you can write in questions, or you can type something into chat. Um, oh, I, I wanted to add one more thing, Laurel, before we yeah, we yeah, take yeah. any questions. Um, just to give folks a, another heads up. Um, I uh, just recorded a, a great podcast with uh, Jim Bouchard, and that's going to go live in the next few days, uh, and uh, that'll give you an idea of, of uh, 
listening to that of, of what you can expect in San Diego. He's also going to be at our uh, executive briefing conference. So, um, you know, he, he's, he's well worth uh, the trip and very insightful uh, speaker. Super. Harry, did you have a question? Just, so if an attendee is interested in uh, getting the Whova app, if they've already registered, where do they go, go to get the Whova app? um david do you want to address that or should i just say actually you could just you just go you to can just go to your your if you have an iphone you can go to the the uh, app store if you've uh, got an android product uh, uh google play you just download mm -hmm. the whova app exactly yeah, right. Yeah, additionally, uh, going to closetscon.com or woodproexpo.com, the event landing pages on our website at woodworkingnetwork.com, those pages all include links directly to the iOS or Android version of the application. And for all of you that have registered already, or once you do register for the event, you'll receive an email uh, from the Whova application that contains the details to register. Right. So uh, we'll we'll make sure that you get that info one way or another. <laughs> and I did want, um, also I have a I do have one question here that said that you know there's um, events that we've mentioned that are sponsored by the associations. Um, the ACSP, the Closet Association, as well as the CMA, the Cabinet Makers Association breakfast. You do not have to be a member of those associations to attend their events. They're hoping that you will see um, how valuable the information um, they have between their members and the programs they have um, that um you'll want to join and both of them have booths on the show floor so please stop by and and visit with them and i also um forgot to mention that there is um certification um times on thursday afternoon so if you're interested in being a certified closet designer you can get that certification at the show great I think that wraps it up. I'm sorry for going Any through that over. <laughs> Thanks so much for attending, everyone. And uh, we'll see you in about 10 days. Two, well, actually, two weeks. Two weeks from today. See you in San Diego. Awesome. See you there. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.